house had this little John boat sitting underneath the tree. So I decided to put a motor on it. And I got one of these mud skipper surface drives. When you buy it, it shows up like this. And uh, I got it with an engine. So the engine's down in this box down here. Just started putting it together. I'm not gonna do like a whole how to put it together, but this is the, the beginning of the, the little boat build. Starting to get it together here. All right, so I've got to a point to where I gotta put the motor on. There's the engine. And uh, we gotta get her bolted up on here. It's been pretty easy to put together so far. You know, you can just hand tools or whatever, no big deal. I had to use the drill to get the paint out of this pin right here because I couldn't get the motor base on here. But other than that, it's been pretty painless so far. So I'm gonna keep chugging along. So it's been about an hour and a half now. I've got it mostly assembled. Uh, one of the tips I would give people are to leave the, the motor, the engine bolts loose. So when you put these bolts through, everything lines up a little bit better. Uh, I found uh, just leaving stuff a little bit loose before you snug it up just makes it a lot easier to put together. Of course, that's typical for building something, but you want to make sure you leave these loose or you're going to have a hard time lining this up. These bolts were kind of the hardest thing to get in because they go they go all the way through to here and they're just they're a little bit hard to line up. This is like the belt tensioner, so you got to make sure this pops underneath or this won't won't uh, go together plumb like that. Another thing I did is to keep it from moving around is I uh, put a piece of bailing wire on here and that kind of kept it from moving on me. You okay? You okay, Moser? You sneezing? You okay? Yeah? Huh? So, you know, basic hand tools, kind of a mix of metric and uh, standard. They gave us uh, extra gaskets, so that's cool. Didn't need these. That's uh, the gaskets that go in here. There's a smaller one here and a larger one goes there. Um, yeah, this is like, I got 17s, a three quarter, seven eighths. Um, like uh, there's a few Allen heads. Pretty, pretty easy. I use the tape measure to uh, get it centered on there perfectly, but I mean, eyeballing it's probably good enough. But anyways, we're almost ready to start it. We gotta put some oil in it and we'll be ready to go. So I put John Deere 10W30 braking oil in the motor, got it filled up. They recommend 10W30 in here. So that's what we went ahead and did. The next thing to do is to put the tiller handle on and get the throttle and everything hooked up. And I gotta dig that out of here. Oh, we gotta hook up the power. The battery in here, so this tiller handle on, throttle cable. So we'll work on that next. And maybe we'll be able to get her started. I gotta go find a battery to put in here. Well, I got everything mocked up. I hadn't put this battery in a jet ski yet, so I grabbed it, it was on the battery tender. So let's see here, turn the gas on, turn the choke on, and this should, I haven't even tried it. No smoke, no smoke. Start. Holy crap, it fired. Oh, that was so. Well, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Well, that was the first fire. You know, it didn't take me very long to work on this thing, put together. Uh, you're going to want some gloves, though. RTV gets all over the place, you know. Some hand tools. This is really not a lot to it. I got that little battery out of one of the jet skis. It turns it over just fine. One thing they don't go over in the instructions is where to hook your power cables to. Um, obviously, well, maybe might not be obvious to everybody, but 12 volt to the solenoid. And uh, I didn't have a good ground, so I just temporarily hooked it up to that. Uh, honestly, I don't know where else I would ground it to. 
Unless maybe I take this cover off and find something else, but works for now. I guess maybe you can ground it there. I don't know. Well, I guess I get this all cleaned up and maybe my next video will be uh, me ripping this thing down the river. So, yeah. It's a cool little rig. It's the mud skipper. You just uh, give a little half choke here. Should be pretty fun. Clean my mess up and I think I'm done for the weekend.